Hey, Treasure Hunt fans, your pal Big D back here again with another weekly news announcement. And this is for Tuesday, May 28th, 2019. Um, the last Tuesday of uh, May of 2019. We are almost about ready to enter June, where that is the halfway mark for the year. Believe it or not, we are almost halfway through the year already. It feels like just yesterday, it was January 1st. Uh, it's kind of going by fast. So if you're new to my channel, what I could do is on these videos, I like to tell you what's coming out this week. Next week, any important announcements that may have come up over the course of the last week. Also, I'd like to show you what I picked up from last week. And then anything else I'd like to throw at the end. So, uh, let's get started. So, tomorrow the 28th is literally the probably the least... How do I say this? The, the least amount of reasons I've seen come out in a really long time. There is only one theatrical title coming out tomorrow. Um, a couple TV shows and then some re-releases. So, yeah, so tomorrow, the probably the, the one theatrical title that's coming out tomorrow is Greta, which starred Chloe Grace, Chloe Grace Moretz. Yeah. Um, I really like her as an actress, too. Um, so that's only a theatrical title coming out tomorrow. I, I, I do want to pick that up. That movie looks really interesting to me. I love movies like that. Um, but um, we'll see if I do pick it up or not, just because I've seen the pricing for it tomorrow, and it's kind of high. So I will get it if I can get it for the right price. Also, Criterion is releasing Blue Velvet tomorrow. Um, so that should be a good one. That's actually a really good movie. And then Shout Factor is releasing Tu Wong Fu. Thanks for everything, Judy Newmar. Um, I know it's a big fan favorite for my wife. They're also, um, also being released tomorrow is Steel Magnolias on Blu-ray, another one my wife really likes. Um, NVD is releasing Double Impact, the Jean-Claude Van Damme classic where he plays two characters. Um, that will be coming out tomorrow. Um, Outlander Season 4 will be coming out tomorrow, both Blu-ray and DVD, as well as South Park Season 22. Now, I can tell you this, the Blue Velvet, you'll probably find maybe at Barnes & Noble or places that sell Criterion. Um, the Shout Factor releases, probably have to order those off the website or Amazon. Um, Double Impact off MVD's website or Amazon. Greta, you should be able to find any any store. Um, Outlander and South Park, I have a funny feeling you should be able to at least find those at Best Buy. But that's it for tomorrow. There is literally nothing. So if you're like me, you're like, another wallet saving week. Yay! Because next week is going to be really bad. Bad in a sense that it's great. There's a lot of really cool stuff coming out. But bad in the sense that uh, there goes my wallet. So um, next next week being June 4th, the first official Tuesday of, um, of June, um, we have a lot of stuff coming out. So um, next week we have a lot of 4K, of which Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, and Batman Robin do all come out on 4K that day. Now, if you're like me, I'm excited about that because I do love those movies. Oddly enough, I know they're cheesy. As, I mean, they're just... What the heck? I mean, the first Batman, absolutely amazing. I actually like Batman Forever quite a bit, too. And um, I do like those movies a lot. Um, being Batman Robin being the cheesiest. Um, I'm going to hold off on getting those, though, because in September they are releasing a box set of all four of them, which I know will be a lot cheaper than buying them individually. So I probably will wait. But those are coming out in 4K tomorrow if you're interested. Also tomorrow, Toy Story 1, 2, and 3. Um, not tomorrow, next Tuesday. Toy Story 1, 2, and 3 will be coming out on 4K and Steelbook. So be on the lookout for those. It's also good. They're also reissuing re those on Blu-ray as well with that new Disney packaging. Um, also next week we got The Natural 4K with Robert Redford. Great baseball. If you've never seen it, you really should check it out. And then next week we've also got uh, Batman vs. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, the animated movie, which actually looks really cool. It's kind of cool to see those two genres kind of mixed together. I do believe there's a steelbook at um, uh, Target for this. If not Target, Best Buy. One of those two, I believe, has a steelbook for that. Um, I'll get more information next week. I'll let you guys know which one it is. Um, but there's also going to be a 4K and a Blu-ray of that as well. Uh, Lost in Space, the Netflix series, season one does come out next week, which if you haven't seen that series, it's a really good series. It's, uh, it was really well done. It's, it's like the original TV series, but it's so much different than the original TV series, which is what I really like about it. Um, also Mr. Baseball on Blu-ray comes out next week. Another great baseball movie starring, uh, Tom Selleck, where he goes to, uh, Japan to play. And it's actually a really fun movie. We also have A Star is Born is re being reissued in the Encore edition with additional footage, I believe, that was not available on the first release. Um, Jack Ryan Season 1 does come out next week, and that's the Amazon exclusive series um, 
obviously about Jack Ryan. Um, and then uh, the movie I'm really, really, really looking forward to is The Kid comes out next week. And that's the one about Billy the Kid that stars Chris Pratt and um, Ethan Hawke and a couple other people from The Magnificent Seven all about Billy the Kid. I'm really looking forward to that movie. Um, the Matrix trilogy is being released in 4K as a steelbook at Best Buy. So I'm definitely going to pick them. I've been waiting for that. I knew that was going to come out in a steelbook. I didn't want to buy all three individual ones. I much rather prefer in this situation, get them all in one box set. Boom, done. It's steelbook. And steelbook looks pretty cool too. So I'm picking that up. Um, Johnny English, the three movie collections. They take all three Johnny English movies and put them on, on a, um, a three disc set coming out in a little box set. I'll probably be buying that. I actually do love those movies. I love Rowan Atkinson anyways. It's really cool. Mr. Bean. So I probably will pick that up because I haven't picked up the last Johnny English movie yet. And I don't have the other two on Blu-ray. So also the haunting of Sharon Tate. That's the Hillary Duff um, movie where she plays Sharon Tate in the whole Helter Skelter Murders by Charles Manson. It was, however, not endorsed by um, Sharon Tate's sister. Um, I'm really curious to see it though, see what their take is on it. Now, there's another there's another movie coming out later this year, oddly enough, on my birthday, um, done by Quentin Tarantino, that does kind of dabble into this as well. It's I think it's a it's a broader story than this. It's the the whole Charles Manson thing is part of the story, but it's not the whole story. Where this Sharon Tate one is the whole story, I believe. Um, also, we have a Medea family funeral coming out, which I think is the last Medea movie. I think that he's done with those, if I'm correctly. I'm not 100% sure, but I remember reading somewhere that this might be the last one. Then we have Arrow's releasing a movie called Trapped Alive, which looks really cool. And they're also releasing the Andromeda Strain, which should be really cool. That's a great movie. And I'm curious to see what Arrow does with it, what kind of special features is going to be on that. And then um, Children of the Corn is coming out in Steelbook. Go figure. I, I don't know. I just picked up the really cool Arrow release. So I'm not sure if I'll get that or not. I do love Steelbooks. Um, and you will see over the course of the next umpteen weeks when I'm releasing all my Steelbook videos. You'll see how many I have. You can see how I really like them. But at the same time, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm kind of up in the air on that one. And then the last release is coming out next week. Mill Creek's next wave of um, VHS retro cover movies are coming out. So next week we have XX Baggage. Um, double Team, <laughs> Jean-Claude Van Damme, um, Jury Duty, oh man, probably my favorite Pauly Shore movie, literally, literally. Then they have a two-pack a two pack of uh, the Mo Money and High School High, I'm not sure how those two go together, but hey, whatever, then they also have a Opportunity Knox is coming out, and then another two-pack Mind Warp and Brain Scan, which I really do want, because Mind Warp's really cool, that has uh, Bruce Campbell in it, and Brain Scan, obviously, a Furlong classic. And then um, lastly, they're going to release another two-pack with one we'll call Trigger Effect and then one we'll call Body Count. So that's it for next week. As you can see, next week's a massive, massive week. Not to mention there's a lot of re-releases coming out, movies being re-released that have already been available. Stuff that's going to have like uh, a sticker on it now because you get like $5 off a certain movie coming out. Like that. There's a lot of re-releases coming out as well. But it's a big release week. I mean, especially for 4K. That's massive 4K week last week. There's, let's see, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9... Uh, 10, um, 11, maybe 11, 12 coming out. That's a lot of 4Ks coming out. Um, and I'm glad, but that's awesome. I'm glad to see 4K. If you don't know, 4K is probably the niche market when it comes to physical media. Um, oddly enough, DVD is still the reigning champion when it comes to, uh, to physical media sales. It still encompasses, I want to say that's like 40 or 50% of all sales in the United States, at least anyways, is still DVD. Then Blu-ray's got a certain percentage. And then at the very end, I think it's like 14, 15% is 4K, but so it's still a niche market, but I'm glad to see the studios are still releasing stuff on that. So now that we've shown, and now I've talked to you about what's coming out the next couple of weeks, um, let me tell you what was announced. And there's a lot announced this week. I was really surprised. And like every day I was, I was reading in my, um, the websites I go on to and stuff like that. Another one released, another one released. It's like, it's like a lot. So, um, next, uh, what was announced this week is first off Hulk, the Eric Bana Hulk, the original Hulk. Yeah. The original Hulk, the bad one, which is really, really cheesy. If you watch now, the CGI is really terrible. Um, it's coming out in 4K, oddly enough, on the 9th of July. Don't get me wrong, I still find it a fun movie, but it's, it's, compared to what you see in the Marvel Universe now, whoo. So that, they did announce that. Also, Shazam has been announced. I kind of mentioned that recently, they'll probably be coming soon. That will be coming out on DVD, Blu-ray, 4K. There's a Steelbook, and the Steelbook is rumored to be Target this time, which really, I'm really bummed about, because I like to get the Target, usually when a DC movie comes out, 
Best Buy gets the steel book and Target gets the digi book. And I buy both. So I've got like, they haven't done a bunch of it. There's like one, two, three, four, five, six, like seven total so far. But the digi books are really cool. But so is the steel books. So I usually get both. But if Target is in fact releasing the steel book, I'm almost guaranteed that Best Buy won't get a digi book. And I'm really bummed because it's part of my collection. I hate to see them not do that because Shazam is a DC character, but we'll see. Um, also, the uh, I, I, like I mentioned earlier, the Batman 4 collection, 4K is coming out. So that's Batman, Batman Returns, Batman Forever, Batman Robin. Those will be out on the September 17th in a nice box set, which I'm going to wait for because I'm much rather having a box set all together rather than individuals. Um, also, Alita Battle Angel has finally been announced, and that will be coming out on the 23rd of July. Um, I really like that movie. It's a really, really good movie. It's got, it's got a steelbook coming out on that thing. It's going to look really cool. And then Stand By Me, which one of my viewers, and I really appreciate you, thank you for saying that, was announced just before I posted that video last week. So I want to mention that this week, uh, that the Stand Stand By Me has been uh, has been announced for 4K, come out August 27th. Love that movie. Um, it's kind of a tragic tale because you know that River Phoenix is in that movie, and he does he, you know, he's no longer with us anymore. And he died at a very young age. So, but it's a, I think it's probably one of my favorite Stephen King adaptations of all time. I really love Stand by Me. Just a great cast of kids that they they brought on board for that movie, and it's really well done. Um, also, The Magician season four has been announced for July 9th. The Flash season five, which just finished two weeks ago will be out on August 27th and Arrow season seven, which just finished a couple weeks ago. Also will be, it was announced for August 20th. So it looks like you're going to have August 20th one, August 27th, the next, I bet you September, the first week of September will be probably be Supergirl or legend DC legends. I'm sure that's the way they're going to roll with it. And then um, let's see here, the live action Cinderella. So, they, they're main, they're going back now and releasing the you know they've been doing they've been doing this whole live action thing where they've been taking their anime clocks to make a live action like this week Aladdin came out so now what they've done is the one thing they did do was do the first Cinderella live action in 4K so now it's coming out in 4K and that'll be released on June 25th so not too long about three four weeks the movie Little has been announced for July 9th also Pet Cemetery the remake which I just did a review on a, a little while back when I saw it in theaters. That comes out on um, July 9th. I really like that movie. It's really cool. There is a steel book with that one. Um, I'm, I'm glad there are because there is because they released a, a steel book of the original um, right around the time that movie came out in theaters. So I'm glad they're putting another steel book out for it. And then the last one is The Professor starring Johnny Depp, and that will be out on the 16th of July. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff that's coming out next week for sure. But at the same time, there's like there's like a lot of really cool new releases coming out too. A lot of release stuff that's coming out. I mean, I mean, it's cool to see these things coming out. Like I said, I'm still looking at, I know Best Buy is now taking reservations for the end game steel book for Avengers. I might, I still keep hearing rumors of August, which kind of stands to reason because in June, Captain Marvel comes out and you got Shazam in July. So most likely they're going to release that in August. So that is it for this week, next week and what's announced. Now comes time for the, what did I pick up last week? And to be honest with you, I didn't pick up a whole lot. There, the, the last week there wasn't a whole lot that came out either, so I was I I decided to just save the money in my wallet because again the June, the first week of June is going to be a big one. So uh, what I did to pick up I did pick up the Hidden Dragon, um, Hidden Dragon, Hidden Dragon. Oh my gosh, How to Train Your Dragon: The Hidden World. Um, I didn't get the steel book on this, and the reasoning being is. I don't have the steelbook for the first two of them, and I know me well enough to know had I picked up the steelbook for this one, and then I would have been on the hunt for the other two steelbooks. And right now, a lot of my best buys don't have a lot of those two first two steelbooks anymore, so I just figured I'll go with the, the regular version like I have the last two, so I have all three of them on Blu-ray. I'm fine with that. I don't, in a lot of cases, I, I think that 4K does bring out a lot more when it, richer colors when it comes to animated movies but I, I, i'm much more interested in live action movies when it comes to 4k than i am animated so i'm fine with that and again steelbook this it was 35 bucks for the steelbook for this movie and then you top on the other two we're talking what at least another, i think like 22 23 bucks a piece so you're like 50 like 90 bucks for all that it's like nah i don't need to do that i'm fine with this so i picked this one up and then I just picked up two random titles after that. Um, Best Buy had this weird sale going on. Um, 
with a few Disney titles and stuff like that that were or Touchstone, I guess, whatever. They were really cheaply priced. I know they had like Pearl Harbor for like five ninety nine and uh, the Prestige for like five ninety nine. But I did pick up Bridge of Spies. I did not own this movie. I was really surprised I did not own the movie. Not only that, I've never seen this movie. So, um, and I do love Spielberg and I really love Tom Hanks. So I'm surprised I didn't pick this movie up yet. But I did get, I think it was like $9. So I got that. And the last one I got, I was at Target the other day and I was just walking through, I was picking up a couple things for the house. And I saw this and uh, and Target had running a 20% off their uh their special, what do they call it? I can't remember what Target calls it. Um, cartwheel, cartwheel. They had 20% off cartwheel on movies. And then I also have the Target cards, so I get another 5% off. So I was walking through and I saw this. It's Godzilla. Yes, I already own this Godzilla, but I really like the cover art on it. I thought it was really cool, the whole distressed look on it, stuff like that. So I ended up with my, all the discounts I had, this ended up being five bucks. And as a digital copy, which I didn't have this digitally, so that actually worked out really well too. But I also wanted to get prepared because the new Godzilla movie comes out this weekend, which I'm really excited about. And I really, really want to see. So I actually sat down yesterday and watched this again. I forgot how much I really liked it. So I did pick this up. It ended up being five bucks. So yeah, again, pretty, pretty, pretty cheap. Not a big deal. But that is it. That's kind of what I picked up this week. What's coming out this week, next week, and what was announced. I don't have really much else to say. I do know a couple of videos coming out this week. I keep talking about it. It is done. It will be posted later this week. My Marvel Steelbook Collection. Also be on the lookout for my Brightburn um, review. I did go see Brightburn and I, I did a, a review for it. So I want you guys to check that out. But again, thank you guys all for watching. Click the like button down below if you enjoyed this video. Leave me some comments down below. Any of these movies you're interested in seeing. Are, are you even are you stoked about any of the movies announced, especially for next week? There's some good stuff and the new announcements for between Shazam, Alita Battle Angel, stuff like that. Excited about any of that uh, about that. Um, please share this video. You guys did great last week. It was so I really appreciate it. I got I think it was like four or five new viewers after you guys shared this video. So please share this. I really, really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. I'm going to be starting to do something here pretty quick, like a contest or something like that. Give away a couple free movies. So I'm still working on it. If you have any suggestions, that would be awesome. Um, thank you guys all for watching. I really, really appreciate it. everybody taking it out there. Have a happy Memorial Day. Today is Memorial Day. So us in the United States, happy Mor Memorial Day. Um, again, thank you guys all for watching. Everybody take care. Be careful out there. Always keep punching what you're going to find. And as always, live long and prosper. Bye.